friends. Hi, new friends. If you landed on this video, likely it's because you're trying to start a career in UX design, but you don't know where to start, and you're wondering if the Google UX career certificate is still viable in 2023. There's also not much of 2023 left, so you're also wondering if it'll be viable in 2024. Tech is an extremely attractive field to get into right now, and even with the recession and the way that the job market is, the majority of the jobs I see posted every day are in the tech field. The tech field merges both creativity and purposeful design into one package because you're literally designing things for a purpose that a person's gonna use it. This is very appealing to some traditional graphic designers who are not finding that their designs really are servicing purposes. As well, the higher salaries the better work-life balance and also just more opportunity to work remote also help. While many of us graphic designers have a ton of transferable skills to go into the UX design space, we are going to walk two paths when we decide that we want to go into UX design. Either we're going to self-teach using YouTube and articles and networking, or we're gonna seek out supplemental education, short form education. Many of us don't wanna go back to a four year university. We want something within a year or two. And we're just looking for a way to build off our traditional graphic design skills, establish more core technical UX design skills, and overall reshape our portfolio. For the short term education, boot camps and certificate programs are popular options because again, like most of us have already done a four year university degree. We don't want to dedicate another four years. We're looking at this really happening within a year or two once we've made up our mind to switch. And you know, when we're trying to sign up for a bootcamp or a certificate program, we really want to understand what it is we're investing our time in. The Google UX Design Certificate was released in 2021. It was an addition to the Grow with Google program. They added four certificates that year. The Grow with Google program is Google's program to open up technical education for small businesses and people who otherwise don't have the means to go to a more expensive like university program. There are also scholarships and financial aid available for the Grow with Google programs, so they're very affordable. Like most of Google's certificates, the Google UX Design Certificate is offered through the Coursera platform. Coursera is a subscription-based service and it's a relatively low-cost monthly fee. The course itself is a mix of videos, readings, and quizzes, and sprinkled within it, there's a ton of external links for you to dive more into the material that you're learning about or to explore some of the terms more in depth. They tend to be articles, videos, and podcasts. The course is completely self-paced. There's no mentorship within this program. I myself enrolled in this certificate in 2021 on its launch date, and I completed it in 2022. And while I recognize that's longer than what they advertise because they advertise that you can complete this in up to six months, I did it very self-paced. I have a very busy lifestyle between I have a very demanding job, I have a family I'm taking care of. So I took breaks, I re-rolled the deadlines and I just did it like at my own pace. And for me, I felt like that was pretty good. The material's kind of heavy. so. Being able to take my time with it and really like dive in, maybe rewatch things, reread things. If something's a little bit like more complicated, like taking a step back, letting my mind reset and then coming back to it. So I really enjoyed that aspect of the program structure. So then you're probably wondering, what does the certificate actually offer? This certificate program is made up of seven courses. You do not have to complete all seven courses if you're only interested in like one or two. However, to get the final overall Google UX design certificate, you have to do all seven. The course is structured where course one through five teach you your core UX design skills as you do your first mobile app project. And it teaches you from human centered design standpoint. In the program, you go over skills such as different types of research methods, wireframing, prototyping, and different types of user testing. Throughout all seven sections of the course, they also sprinkle in skill building around accessibility. And this is very, very important because if you're trying to build an application, it's very important to make sure that all kinds of users can 
use your product, even if they have limiting abilities. And the course also goes over how if you design for limiting abilities, you're actually helping people who don't have limiting abilities as well. It's also Google and accessibility is kind of their bread and butter because they make their products for everyone, you know? Section six and section seven take everything that you learned in sections one through five and apply them towards standalone projects. Section six, you build a responsive web design and section seven, you build a cross-platform application, which is really cool. And then finally, once you complete all seven sections of the certificate at the end of this certificate, you get a certificate and you can share it to LinkedIn and you can add it to your resume. Since the certificate came out in 2021 and basically every year um, technology updates and things become outdated, especially if you're following what came out of Config 2023, you might be wondering if now sections of this course are outdated because of all of the changes that have happened to Figma, as well as Adobe finally gave the ax to Adobe XD. To expand on that, just as Adobe has been saying for a while now, they announced at Config that they were no longer supporting XD in their cloud application. And actually, yeah, if you check your cloud portal, like XD is no longer there. However, if you downloaded XD to your computer already prior to them killing it, it still works and you can still use it. They're just no longer putting out updates. But I wonder how long until the program just won't open anymore and you can't use it. I think this is important to be aware of as section six in this course is titled Responsive Web Design in Adobe XD. And as of the date I'm recording this, Google has not updated that section of the course. While at first glance, it seems like this section is no longer relevant because it says that it's teaching you a program that's now dead. However, if you go through the material, they actually give the course material and the reading in both XD and Figma. And that's because on a Chromebook, you can't install XD. So they had to make it so that somebody can still do it in Figma and get through the course. You also can be led then to wonder like all these exciting things came out of config. Is this course no longer relevant because now there's like all these new ways to prototype and stuff. And I would say no, because the point of this course is to teach you core skills that you can then build off of. And while all the stuff that came out of config is like really exciting and cool and simplifies workflow, it's more advanced skills and advanced prototyping. So I still think like if this course was to release now, they wouldn't structure it with that stuff in mind. I think they would touch on it, but the course also tries to like make you not spend money on things. So there's a lot of free trials and stuff to programs that they expect you to use. I think also like when they talk about like installing Figma, they tell you to use the free version of Figma and not to do the paid one unless if you really wanted to. So then that brings us back to our question, is the Google UX design certificate still worth it in the remainder of 2023 that we have? And is it worth it as we go into 2024? And I would say my answer is yes, the certificate is totally worth it. The course offers a very good foundational education into UX design. And at the end of the course, you complete it with three standalone projects and a built portfolio. So for anyone who's looking to like get more of a feel for UX design or to begin to kickstart their education and building up their portfolio, this is a very good option, especially with how affordable it is. A lot of the popular boot camps are between $2,000 and over $18,000 and there's time limits. Like not many of them let you start and go at your own pace. Some of them have rigid schedules and if you can't complete it in that schedule, you're out your money and you don't have a completed certificate or a completed portfolio. The Google UX design certificate just doesn't do that to you. Plus it's ridiculously affordable. The Google UX design certificate, however, is only a starting point and I don't believe you can get a job just with the education of the certificate alone. They don't go over the UI skills and companies trying to hire entry level definitely want to see that you have UI skills with the UX design skills. 
So you're gonna have to find ways to supplement your education off of this course with like another course and more refined skills that you need to build. There is also no hands-on mentorship within this program and there's no aspect of a real world project within this program. So if you wanted to have that as you're going through this course, you're gonna have to do a little extra work to add that for yourself. I know that many boot camps and certificate programs use a real world project and mentorship as a marketing tactic to attract students to enroll in their program. However, I feel like it's important to highlight that you don't need these in your boot camp. You can attain these on your own. There are websites such as ADP List that you can go on, make an account, and connect with mentors to help you go through your UX design education process. And also, once you're done with a certificate, they can help give you pointers on your portfolio and interviewing and making your slide deck and whatever else that you need questions answered by someone who's in the field already. As well, there's many Facebook groups and LinkedIn groups for UX designers, and you can connect with people in there. It takes a little bit more tactic with the networking, but it is totally possible to meet a seasoned designer in there and get pointers and build a relationship and have like a mentorship grow. As well, on YouTube, there's many UX designers that have channels and they do advertise that they have mentorship services. And granted, you have to pay if you want to connect with them and use their mentorship program. But I think if you look at the cost of your bootcamp versus the cost of a mentorship session with them, it might be cheaper to go with the mentorship session rather than just want it in your bootcamp. But it is totally up to you and what you feel comfortable with. I just think when people are choosing these programs, it's very easy to get wrapped up in the marketing that some boot camps have because they are businesses and they're trying to make money. In reality, I think it's important to remember that no educational program can guarantee you a job you have to get a job for yourself putting the work into it and it starts with what is going to be the best way for you to learn the material. I went into the Google UX design certificate specifically to learn more about what UX design is, how my traditional graphic design skills can transfer over to UX design, and fill in the holes for myself of what I then need to look into further to build my skills and overall establish a new portfolio to help me get into UX design. I think if you are approaching short-term education programs with a mindset of what do I need to do to get the skills and the portfolio that I need to shine in applying for these jobs, then the Google UX Design Certificate is totally a good option, especially because it's so affordable and it's so low risk. And while I haven't yet landed a full-time job after this certificate program, I have felt more comfortable networking with UX designers in the field who have been there for like many, many years and have like such big followings and do such cool projects. I've also began pursuing more advanced prototyping skills in Figma because I'm very interested in the motion aspect of design. I've began job hunting and have had interviews. I've also began the steps of establishing a side freelance business and I'm wrapping up my first client project. And then this one's a little crazy, but I've also started to take steps to develop my own app. And I kind of really want to take it from concept all the way to launching it on the Play Store. But that one's a little ambitious. A little fun note, after I finished the Google UX Design Certificate, I've noticed myself starting to apply human-centered design theory to my day job, which is not in UX design. It's in a completely different sect of design. But the skills that I learned in the Google UX Design Certificate have been significantly relevant to my current job, so that, that was really cool. So if you're thinking about taking the Google UX Design Certificate, I hope that this helps you. I totally do think it's still relevant in the rest of 2023 and as we go into 2024. Whatever path you decide to walk to get into UX Design, I wish you the best of luck. And thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps. If you have anything you want to say, please leave it in the comments. And I wish you the best of luck and see you in the next one.